Jan. Are you ready? Hello everybody and welcome to what many people have called the match of the century. Some have called it the match of the millennium, but those people have exaggerated a little bit, in my opinion. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm here. How can I mute DBs? And I'm here with Pascal Charbonneau to commentate on the semi-final match of the DBs and Pepe Cuenca Invitational between none other than eight-time Russian champion Peter Svidler and probably like one-time Spanish champion David Anton. Hey Pascal, how are you? I'm doing well, Jan. I'm, I'm happy to be here for this very exciting match, the match of the, we'll call it the match of the millennium, why not? I guess it's the pseudo-final, right, just because of who is playing. No, I think they're both giant underdogs against either Artemia or Duda. Yeah, no, you're probably right. It, the Duda match was kind of strange yesterday. It looked like the first few games, he looked like he was totally off. Like he, he looked like he might lose 8-0. And then it was the opposite. After three games, then it looked like he could have won 8-0. So, but he's he's uh, he's maybe my favorite. I think Timo Feyev, uh is yours for now, right? Is your your money bet? Uh, Artemiev, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, yeah. Ah, sorry, that's, yeah. Confusing my Russian. But, uh, but how about in this match? Who, who do you think is, is the favorite in this match? It's... I think it's close. I'm slightly leaning towards Svidler because of the chess culture thing, but I would think that Anton better prepared, is faster, is probably somewhat more used to online blitz. So I would guess it's going to be very close. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. And I, I agree with what uh, our friend Sasha Gristrick was saying yesterday, that Peter gets, uh, you know, when he gets hot, it's good. And so a format like this is not bad. Hopefully he's uh, feeling pretty good after his performance of yesterday. So, you know, I think he's got, he definitely has chances. But uh, David Anton, I, I've played him a few blitz games. He, he is surprisingly fast. He plays fast too, like he just, you know, a lot of those really good blitz guys seem to play incredibly fast, like they just never, they, they never seem to be down on time. Um, so maybe time will be a little bit of a challenge today for Peter. Yeah, I know both these guys well. Nino, he's very slippery, like even if he gets in trouble, he won't like start spending a lot of time, as you mentioned, or he won't start panicking. He will just keep making moves quickly without blundering pieces. And that's generally a pretty good strategy in blitz. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I believe the games are about to begin. David, yep. um, don't, don't be confused by the David Martinez. They're all living in the same flat, all these Spanish people. And David Martinez, Pepe Cuenca, and David Anton. So you never know who's sitting in front of the camera at what time. It, but, it, it probably beats being quarantined with young children like you and I are. I'm not sure. If I... No, it, it does be it. Who are we kidding? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love the family, Great. but yeah. No, no, of course. I mean, so do I. But uh, but you also have to acknowledge the difficulties of, of having a family. So. This is the golden age of not having kids. <clears throat> so a little bit of a weird uh, opening here from David Anton. But I guess he does play this double fee and shadow uh, stuff. He's, he, of course, he works on his chest, but at his core, I think he's not an opening guy. So he doesn't mind playing some random nonsense and just getting a position to play. The problem with that strategy, though, is if Peter does have one weakness as a chess player, then it's just theory knowledge. So if you take that off the table, it's going to be pretty hard to outplay Peter in a chess game. Yeah, he definitely has, he has class, right? Like that's what people, uh, people like to refer yeah, to it that, that way. As they say in Russian, that je ne sais quoi. Yes. It's touch. Je ne sais quoi. And here and, uh, he exchanges the light square bishops as, as you do. Already slightly prefer black's position, I would say, with the holes around the white king. Yeah, he's got a little bit, little bit more space. The king is safer and uh, with that trade of bishops. I mean, obviously, black has no uh, no issues, but uh, yeah, it feels it feels like white is black in this game uh, at this point. Mm. Wow, that's confusing. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that probably I, I I probably didn't put it in the most clear way possible. No, so no, more, no more bishops. I got you. Yeah, um, queen b two. It's been unclear if Swidler should try to grab that whole center with f6 followed by e5 and yeah he does go f6 when I don't know I'd be tempted to play d4 but it's not a Nino style so maybe he's gonna play c4 or a move like that he has to be careful though after let's say c4 e5 to not end up in some passive Marozzi style position so curious how he's gonna tackle this yeah c4 maybe rook d8 and then he's gotta figure out how he wants to you know, there's some queen c6, maybe he, some pressure on the d-file. Yeah, he does go d4. So even though right. it's not in his style, he understood. e5 has to be fought against. Mm. Yeah, looks equal now. Just c Yeah. Yeah, cd or rook c8, yeah. I guess he plays rook c8, okay. Yeah, so um, rook c8. Maybe c4 somewhere is going to be the uh, equalizer, but... Uh, or he just plays it very uh C3. feels like it, this this could get a little passive, I mean. What a move. C three yeah. medium. I don't think I could get myself to play C three. He knows but, no shame. That's a big strength, but sometimes also a weakness that he's not afraid of making ugly moves. It does lead to him making a lot of ugly moves. <laughs> That's a, that makes sense. So I do it. And I'm reading in the chat that it's the professor. I guess the money heist didn't work out after all, huh? Do you get that comparison a lot? Do you know who the professor is? I actually don't. I, I do feel like you have me beat with a lot of these references. Yeah, it's because I ignore my family. I spend a lot of time watching Netflix. So this oh, is, so actually, a I, famous I, I, show I called know. Money Heist or Casa de Papel. Yeah, so I have watched. I've watched one season of it, and I, I thought it was great. But uh, my my wife doesn't love watching shows that are dubbed, you know. And and obviously, our do you watch it in native uh, in Spanish or? I watch it in Spanish, yeah, but I'm also a snob. Um... Yeah, and so because of that, I so I watched it in English because uh, well, I, I can watch it in Spanish with subtitles. I, I may have watched some of it that way, but. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I do know what you're talking about. It is a good show. I was wondering how they managed to keep it going for like, you know, five or however many seasons, you know, because it seems like it's the kind of thing where they do the heist and at some point it ends, but it just doesn't end, right? <laughs> There's always a new heist to be done. That's true. But yeah, you do look a bit like that professor type. That is true. So I guess I'll take that as a compliment. So what do you think of this position? I guess maybe c4 now for black or? I was wondering about c4 then. bc and dc feels sort of risky strategically. Yeah. Huh, he's going, he does go yeah, c4. I mean, he could just play knight. Okay. I thought he could play knight c4 and just be equal at least. But uh, this is playable too, I guess. Yeah, some rook c1. But I guess as a Grunfeld player, he's, he's used to facing yeah, he's, uh, a big pawn center. Play B5, F5, somewhere, somehow, you make it work. Queen C2 played. I would just go C3. I was told pass pawns need to be pushed. But Peter plays B5 first. Growing more Peter space. wants to have two. He wants to have two pass pawns. Yeah, he also has twins. He doesn't do like single. He doesn't do. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I guess his uh, his pawns are more mobile, right? It's not so easy for white. Could become very sharp, but yeah, Nino is also down on the clock. He goes e5, trying to activate the knight, but knight f5 forces him to cover d4, and now Peter is better. That looks, so, uh, yeah, that looks looks unpleasant for for white at least. Yeah, and you rook to d8, rook c d8, probably, or just takes. You know, and I, I noticed that uh, El Nino doesn't mind getting down to just a few seconds, you know? Some players with these little increments, they don't mind playing on increment for forever, it seems. I think he uh, trusts himself to not blunder, even if he has to make a move with one second all the time. But still, there are no heroes in time trouble. Yeah, now the, the e-pawn is pretty weak, but I guess he wants to play maybe... He gets his knight to c5. 
still looks pretty bad for white. But... Yeah, it's a typical Nino game. He gets in some trouble, then he starts playing really, really fast, and sometimes he gets out of it. But here, after rook g5, f5 looks doomed. Rook f5, can take h5. f5. Yeah, h5 first, precise. Yeah, same, same. Or it's the same, yeah, it's the same. He doesn't even <laughs> really take them. No, it takes. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look savable, but you never know with so little time. So he takes another pawn. Cthulhu is asking, do you guys remember back in the late nineties they had that weather phenomenon El Nino? I do remember. But yeah, also, sure. In Spanish, El Nino just means the kids, so it's been a common expression, not just for weather disasters. Which one was yes, that? Not... Hurricane or something? Yeah, that was a hurricane in the U that was big in the U.S. I think, right? I'm sure. I saw this. Is it another hurricane? I saw pictures from Louisiana, Mississippi the other day. It didn't look nice. Oh, did, did Peter blunder here? Um, if oh, there's no goodness. mate, then he blundered the knight. No, rook d4, king c6. Yeah, king c6, king c7, and the king just runs. There's also a check on g7. Yeah, Nino took a piece. Uh, Nino, so now rook d1 probably. Still the a pawn, so not over like rook b4 no, no. or rook yeah. d4. Huh. Still draw. a frust draw, draw, Nietzsche. Um, it, yeah, it looks like maybe he's gonna escape. Wow, he plays for the win. Mm. I guess he he has three pawns, right? Even uh, though a lot of pawn islands, but he does have three. Yeah. Then again, they I don't, could I don't all know. be captured. Yeah. That's what, there goes one. There goes one. Now, I guess maybe rook b2. It's idea rook d5. Mm -hmm. Let's get sharp. Drama. King d6. Check. Without. Takes. Takes. e7. Um, now, e7, king... rook e2. Oh, so he has to go rook e3 oh. and he's lost. Maybe he yeah. could have. Maybe he could have taken, yeah, he could have taken on the rook on c3 instead of the other rook, but yeah, that is, here is completely winning, so, wow. Well, Still not the first one. Sharp first game, it looks like it went uh, went back and forth a little bit at the end, but he was a deserving winner, I think, in this game. He, uh, he was doing well for a lot of it, so. Yeah, no time to analyze because the action continues. Peter Svindler with the white pieces plays 1c4. He's a 1e4 player by nature, but especially in Blitz, and also I think in general a bit more often these days to avoid these Berlins and big theory debates. He goes 1c4. Nino plays one of the worst moves you can make in that position, 1f5. He's a bit of a Leningrad player. I've spent many a day telling him that it's a very bad opening, but he does not listen. Kids yeah, these days. the Dutch. So Peter plays rook b1. Yeah, that's one of the main moves. That's what Kramnik played against Nakamura during a brief spurt of popularity for this stuff. Knight e4, and now there's many moves, like even h4, but queen c2 followed by bc. I think that's what Kramnik did as well. So Peter knows his Kramnik games. Yeah, yeah. It's a e4. committal line in a way from white because he crippled his structure but these pawns are also controlling a lot of squares and the problem you always have in the Leningrad is long term your king on g8 will just be weak because you weaken it on move one with this pawn to f5 yeah so on, on f4 he would take on f4 here is, is that the uh, is that the idea i'm not sure gf is always a theme but maybe also just bishop a3 followed by rook ad1 and mobilizing very quickly so yeah uh, I would guess Bishop A3 was the move here. That's why Nino plays Queen E7, stopping it. Peter taking his time. Not sure which move. Rook E1 is a move. Bishop G5 is a move. Some A4, someone comes to mind. Bishop A3. That did not come to mind. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I guess he wants to take on F5. I don't get it. Even F E uh, F E Bishop C eight is yeah, is then C eight and he's got his B seven. C seven, yeah. But it's a little. Yeah, my guess is that he wanted to prepare. Yeah, taking on F five and Still. not allowing Bishop F five. 
Bishwe five still works. Bishwe five. Well, GF, yeah. Like, uh, I didn't get that at all. GF I like less because now the black rooks aren't connected, but it's still very double edged. E four. Knight can come to c5, then he wants bishop a3. No, I didn't like this gf, I think bishop f5 was cleaner. Still, Nino, he's not looking for clarity. He enjoys, you know, fighting in the mud. He enjoys messy yeah. positions, making them messier. A bit Maybe like... white. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he'll play f4 now. White or black? Uh... White. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I'm not sure. Is Queen C4 or three? Yeah, F3 trying to open up. Yeah. Here comes the Queen. Fe, that's Bishop takes D4, so Knight F5. And I don't know. I'm always worried about Black because of his weak King in these positions, but that might be yeah. a simplistic view. From move one, like you said. Oh, it does look better. It looks like it looks a little suspicious for Black with the King. Maybe he just plays E takes F three or something crazy. And yeah, for sure, it doesn't look crazy. The White King is also a little open. No? Like E F yeah, yeah. H seven King H eight. The King is actually kind of relaxed. Yeah. So let's see. He's, and he's got ideas like Rook E two, you know, stuff like that. Is in the air. Peter doesn't care. He takes, goes bishop g6, hoping to deliver checkmate first. Yeah. <clears throat> Some bishop. Yeah. Ah, bishop d4 is actually cd4 because the queen on c2 is protected. So that's helpful. Rochcock is saying Peter pawn up in a moment. Could be. But it's not about pawns, it's about kings. The game of kings. Hmm. Not easy actually to stop this queen f5, queen h5 uh, idea. No, and the bishop on a3 is doing a good job, like stopping queen c5 check, controlling some squares. So maybe the two bishops are worth something after all. Yeah. Who are you rooting for? Me? Yeah. Ah, that's a good question. I think I'm rooting for Peter. I, I was saying this an, another time that I, I always root for the people born after me. Um, after you? Yeah. So they, they, they're older than me. I, oh, root for so. the old, I, I root for the old generation, you know. But so Wouldn't they technically be born before you then? Ah, that's what I meant. You have a... You're, you're very, uh, very sharp today. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm known for. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm also closer to Peter, even though I'm very friendly with Nino and Tom too. So, in a way, I don't wish either of them success. <laughs> That's a, you could have put that more positively if you wanted to, but yeah, yeah. Uh, people have told me that. Uh, rook d8, rook b7. Uh... Yeah, it's not easy for that bishop to leave the diagonal, right? If bishop b6, there's always bishop b2. Although maybe that's not mate. Oh no, it is. Rook h7. Oh no, it's not. So maybe rook b7, bishop b6. What does he do there? Bishop Seems suspicious. B2, there's no mate. King g8. Uh, yeah, king, f, king g8 mate. and rook and king f8. I mean, there's a draw. You figured out, Peter. Yeah. Okay, so he blitzes knight c5. Knight c5, what's the trick? No trick, he's just trying to activate his pieces here? Yeah? yeah, I think so. But now... It's typical Nino and Ton game again. It looks yeah, yeah, unhealthy, but the pieces are, uh, you know, they're doing stuff. Yeah, and with seconds on the clock, it feels... Like anything can happen. So he's threatening rookie one, probably bishop b4. Yeah. Or just rook f2 if you panic, but there's no real reason to panic yet. 
Yeah. Should be four played. My so, e4, rook f4, what's happening? <sighs> yeah, it doesn't seem to threaten anything unless I'm... So that might just be winning for white. Yeah, I think he blundered. <clears throat> ah, c5. Bishop Maybe. a5. Then the knight can move somewhere at least. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. How's that ending actually? Yeah, I, could... yeah, I was wondering looks... if that ending could be winning, but looks maybe I don't think so. Yeah, because you can't stop. Uh, you need to keep the a pawn. It's going to be hard to. Uh... You have the wrong bishop for your h pawn. So if you're left with your light square bishop and an h pawn, it's a draw. So I don't see how you can make progress here. Yeah, draw agreed. Yes, yeah, they are. They agreed. Yeah. And Nino is on the scoreboard yeah another another hard-fought game he seemed to be on the uh on the worst end of it but he uh he managed to uh to keep things murky enough it looks like that's how you do it does it <coughs> david murky anton yeah i'll just i'll just fire up the twitch on my other computer I have lots of computers here, but all my screens are so full with the Zoom call, the Skype call, the chessboard, yeah, the I've... chat. There's no space anymore. I know. It's 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 a tough life we live. Tell me about but it. David Anton repeats the uh well, repeats the B three setup. It's gonna be a little bit different, I think. Nope, not really actually. <laughs> Still plays for G3, so. Is this actually, was this the exact move order that they had in the other game? Maybe it was. Looks very similar. And Nino, he already surprised us in his match against Radavov, which was very dramatic, by playing the exact same, not very impressive line in every single white game. So once he's made up his mind um, to stick to one line, you yeah, it, they they matter. kept playing that that weird uh, queen's gambit line, which looked like it should be completely fine for black, but somehow I guess he got decent positions out of it. Yeah, but it's not the way to put pressure on Peter, as mentioned. If Peter, you know, gets pieces out, then he's very hard to hard to beat. Yeah, I would try to go for something sharper, more theoretical. Um, to at least uh, challenge him a little bit. Yeah, I don't love this setup for white. I feel like it's actually easier for black to play. Can yeah. take with the knight on d5 is okay. Yeah. Um, want to play maybe bishop f6 somewhere. And we have Mr. Dochi to share his wisdom with us. Ah, Thank you so that's... much, Mr. Dochi. He's saying David Anton just prepares very efficiently, preps for one game, uses it six times. <laughs> that's that's a good uh, that's a good way to put it. I guess it's economical or efficient. It's efficient. I think lazy is the correct term. Yeah, which is a word that Peter uses to describe himself. Although I, I always feel like his, like you said, his, uh, you know, the, the, he's, he's humble beyond his uh, true worth. No, he's very self-deprecating. So whenever he says bad things about himself, it's okay for him to say it, but it's not okay for other people to um, repeat that assumption. That's a line that often I feel yeah. people get wrong because it's just how he communicates. Having said all that, he is incredibly lazy. I guess you're allowed to repeat it because you know him well enough. <laughs> no, I'm just a bad person. Mm, I'm willing to sell him out for a quick pun. Um, mm -hmm. Queen e2, do you go b4? Yeah, I was wondering if he wants to go b4 or if he wants to keep the option of playing c4 somewhere, which, um, well, I don't know. I guess first he's going to play queen c7, rook d8. Mm -hmm. H4, Nino with some empty attacking gestures. 
Uh, yeah, it's more of a it's more of a pretend attack, I think, right? It's just uh but it doesn't do anything bad, I guess. Not yeah. Yet. Also all these strong players and their H pawns, I'm never sure. But C4, very dynamic Swiddler like yeah. solution. If white yeah, takes twice, then c2 is hanging, like bc, bc, knight c4, should be two, knight b2, queen c2. Looks good. Yeah, and I guess if he takes twice, but with pawns, then you just play knight b6, and the pawn is not uh, not very good. Yeah, you should still do that. Maybe it peters out. Mm. Peters out, always a nice pun. Yeah. Ah, so he just plays bishop e5. Still Solid. peters out, no? Bishop e5, queen c4, yeah. queen c4, rook c4, bishop d5, ed c3, for example, and draw. Yeah, that one is that one is agree. They can agree to a draw there. I don't know if David Anton is going to... Well, I don't know what he can really try here. Yeah, it's early in the match, so no reason to go no, too crazy. Yeah. First to six and a half points wins. Yeah. And here we are. Of course, such positions have been lost mainly with white because you get mated somehow, but these guys, I think, are too strong for anything to happen here. Yeah, mate on h1 seems uh, hard to have it happen. He's trying to play f3, I guess, here to avoid that uh, possibility. This is probably a good time to talk about TV shows. What are it you always watching? Is. What is a good, what are you watching in this quarantine other than Casa de Pepe? So Casa de Casa de Pepe is literally where David Anton is right now. Pepe's flat. But <laughs> um, no, I'm a bit embarrassed to say it, but I've been binge watching the fantastic Japanese half scripted reality show Terrace House. Okay. And I, I don't stop. know that one, so that's something for me to Something for me to uh, to discover. I don't recommend it. I've spent, some people would say, an unhealthy amount of time watching Japanese people in their 20s um, dating at a snail-like place while being very polite to each other and cooking delicious meals. Uh -huh. So somehow, uh, Peter... Let him come to d3, but it's not really a big, uh, not really a big problem. Although it looks like black is fine. This all theory had some old, uh, what's it called delayed Steinitz d4 e4 yeah. knight g5 d5 f3 and so on and so forth. I believe it's supposed to hold for black these days, and it's a typical semi-garbage Nino Anton line that is just not bad enough to be playable. I think, how does this go? Queen d7, f e h6, knight h3, something like that. Uh. h6, there might be e5. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, man. Am I mixing this up? Do you go... He takes... Is that the move? He probably knows. Tempting to play knight e6 here. I don't know what happens, but... But I'm tempted. <laughs> does look tempting. I mean, the knight takes on g7, or bishop f4 next, simply? I don't know. Looks suspicious. I agree. I'm still wondering. I thought f3. Maybe they don't play f3. Maybe they start with knight d2. Because I can picture some line where queen d7, f3, h6, knight h3 gets played. And I can't reproduce from you. So now, typical Nino position again. He's missing the f-pawn, so his king is a little weakened. But other than that, nothing bad has happened. So Yeah. Peter is not being challenged in the openings, though. If he's not being challenged in openings, he will find a way to cruise. Yeah, someone is saying that my sound is low. I don't know, I don't know why that. Would my be mic bad. is far away from me. I can get it closer to me, but I no, my also... my sound, not your sound. So, I don't know why my sound would be low. <clears throat> It's a miracle, all that sound stuff. How does it even work? We talk in our homes and it gets to tens of viewers all across the world. doesn't make sense to me. Because yeah, of some know. device in front of you. How does it a microphone work? It makes no sense. It is bizarre. 
Drop the mic, speaking of which you're saying. I started watching Terrace House because Jan mentioned it a couple of days ago. It's really funny. I enjoyed it a lot. There you go. Also, hot take. Last time we discussed, Pascal, my long-held opinion that Canadians, as you are, and Australians are the best people. Japanese? Uh, up there. Very polite, very soft-spoken, well-mannered. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's probably true. And, you know, I think there, there's, something to, there's something to the Canadian politeness, but maybe it's over, overrated, you know? Hmm. So I'm not entirely sure that I buy it. Also, I'm, you know, I'm from the French Canada part, which is not typically what people would refer to as the polite. You know, I think it, they refer more to English Canadian. Uh, so, but, you know, maybe I'm mistaken. It's, it's a discussion where one can only make friends like calling. Most people it's true, it's true. Than yeah. the so uh, yeah. I like going. nobody nobody ever says don't call me polite I mean I guess some people might maybe someone in New York could you know say don't call me polite how dare you yeah to uh, me I get praised for my politeness so often that it does get old after a while 94 threatening knight 94 C5, yeah which will be seven then knight e5 looks a little scary Nino it's always this problem with you and you're missing f pawn <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing about the f pawn Ben Johnson is asking, can Greg Shahadi create betting pool? Ben Johnson is originally Russian, so he can't write create a betting pool. He's saying create betting pool on whether Pascal or <clears throat> Jan's kid run on screen sooner. That is a fair uh -huh. question. That is a, yeah, that is a fair question. And actually someone in the chat early on was asking whether your daughter would make an appearance today on the stream. She's so. already been in this room during the show, but she hasn't made it to the stream. So chances are she's made her appearance, but she was camera shy today. Uh-huh. Yeah, and my son my son could be here any moment. He doesn't take a nap anymore. My daughter, but my daughter is more aggressive in terms of trying to come into the room. So, uh, and she's probably not napping yet. So there, there's a, and I got two, so I guess that doubles my chances. Not when it comes to your son versus my daughter, but if it's either of them, then yeah, that sounds fair. Yes. Ben Johnson is, first of all, correct, of course, about my daughter being a bit of a <clears throat> bit too comfortable in front of the camera, I would say. Um, how are you, Ben? How's quarantine? Ben Johnson, of course, the beloved and very popular. Um, you know, host of the Perpetual Chess podcast. When he started, I thought, okay, let's do some charity, appear on Ben's little podcast project. It's very cute. Now he's so much bigger than all of us that I yeah, yeah. can't understand how he has time to even show up here. The, the, the roles have been reversed. For sure. So what, this game has not been too exciting. I guess that's why we haven't talked about it too, too much the last few moves. But actually, David Anton seems to have solved solved his problems. Yeah, he's fine now. Ben is saying, I'm good, two kids in the room, homeschooling. Is that polite speak for watching Frozen? Your kids, are they watching a lot of TV? I'm very familiar with 101 Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians part two. Which is not the same as 102 Dalmatians, Aristocats, Jungle Book, anything. Yeah, we try not to have them watch too much TV, but in this quarantine period, it's been a little difficult to avoid. Um, but so I'm very familiar right now with Frozen and also with the original version of Lion King, which is a great soundtrack. Uh, songs like Akuna Matata that I'm sure are part of your daily playlist. Yeah, Lion King, we're not that really into. We prefer movies with cats or the dogs, like even Jungle Book didn't get a lot of love. Lion King well, actually I think is a properly good movie, like the animated version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Peter Lion, in trouble? You could say lions are big cats. Um, yeah, Peter I think is in trouble. This queen ending looks, looks bad, right? He's gonna lose a second pawn. Mm. Yeah. But 
Queen endings are always a little slippery, but this one... Nah, is Nino, be... Nino is gonna figure this one out. Bring the king yeah. close to the deep pawn, so the deep pawn shelters it. It's hard to believe there's a perpetual, even though this is a nice resource. Queen c1 check, king e2, queen b2, <coughs> king d1. He's running away. Queen, queen a1, a1, king c2, c2. on the check. Yeah, the, like the, the, the king is managing to push the queen away. It's over. Yeah, queen c3 somewhere maybe, or well, actually, any move, any move works. Yeah, he's teasing a bit. Now queen d2. I guess king e2, queen e4. This queen e3, Gegenschach, as we say in German. Nah, this should be hopeless. Yeah, now queen f2, queen h4, queen e1, and you trade queens. Yep. Yeah, Peter doesn't even wait for it. Resigns. Resigns, Does yeah. Not look happy. The match is tied. But it's very tight. Peter Peter when he loses games has a smile on his face. Sort of a it's smile of setting. A smile of disbelief maybe, but but a smile nonetheless. So gracious in defeat, like when he allowed Magnus to checkmate him on the board and resigned or shook his hand with a smile like I couldn't stand it. Be upset, yeah. Peter. Peter missed maiden two, queen f1, queen f3. Ah, really? Oh, wow. That's, after that's queen a... d2, when we oh, just wow. assumed it was game over. Of course, queen yep. f1, king e3, queen f3. Wow. Oof. That's a, that's a, frustrating, that's a frustrating one. Ah, and he spotted it. That's why he's smiling. And that's, that's, of course, lingering. It's worse. It's worse, of course, when you, when you actually realize. Um, yeah, that's hard. Oof, that's gonna sting. And he's already steaming playing the King's Indian. Yeah, the King's Indian is the opening you play when you're uh definitely when you're steaming. I think the I think the score is uh the score is uh missing one game. It must be two two. I can't count, it's very possible. Did we miss it? Did I miss a draw? Let me make sure. Yes, they have two draws. Yeah, they have two draws and two, and each has a win. And I think this is a little bit like in the first David Anton match. So far, the wins are coming from the black pieces. Yeah, but this time, Svidler is asking for it with a very daring opening choice. Yeah. And he's mentioned he's he used to play the King's Indian quite a bit, but it, he felt like it didn't agree with him. Uh, this position might not agree with him. Bishop f6, an interesting move. On h5, he wants to play bishop g5. Yeah, you go g5. Yeah. He wants to stop h5 by keeping an yep. eye on g5. Yeah, and now I guess he might be able to play something else to stop, to stop it. Maybe f5 at some point. Yeah. All these positions are... Very First hard step. for me to understand. I would think white is better, and I'm sure so would computers think. But what goes where, I really struggle with. Also, when black can play f6 or f5, and when it backfires horribly, the, the timing of these things, you need to. You need yeah, to it's not, I, I don't understand it either. Like, like maybe now f5, gf, bishop f6, but I don't. Then on h5, you can actually play bishop g5 and trade that bishop. But then there's also, you have to consider bishop takes c5 everywhere, and there's just a lot of positional transformations. Chess but okay. is so hard. Pawn Stash is asking, is there a way to make my chess24 user interface stay with the latest game? I just follow Paul Borta. I believe that always gets you to his latest game immediately. I'm sure there are other ways, but I yeah. just follow one of the players, and then it always takes you to their latest game. And then you could keep our broadcast in another, because that might take the broadcast in a different window. But uh, um, yeah. So he did. He did play my suggestion. I don't think he's listening to us. He might. I am on the same Zoom call with these guys. I think I muted myself in the call, but who knows how, no. this, how sound travels.
So he wants maybe to bring the knight to g5. Or he just wants to play queen d2 and castle. But these are just hard positions to understand and to play. I mean, they're just it's just hard. Yeah. So now maybe he's bringing the knight to f4. Yeah. Would white I be tempted to move my knight again to stop knight h5, knight g5, yeah. and after h6 something. I don't know if knight e6 or knight h3 or just let it there. Queen d2. He goes back to f3 to target h6. Yeah. This I feel like this is maybe a pawn. You'd have to give that pawn now, play like knight h5 and bishop g6. Maybe not. That's probably... It's a big pawn. I don't know, but yeah. Well, how, <laughs> Maybe there's no way you, to keep it. Yeah, because yeah, the queen d2 was coming. This might just not be a great position for black. Nope. Both sides spending a fair amount of time. The time control is three minutes plus two seconds per move, I believe. So it's hard to flag. Is it two seconds or one second? It's two, right? Two seconds, yeah. Yeah. So they are able to build a little time sometimes. Always tempting to play knight d2 here, but I've blundered this knight d2, knight d3 check trick. Yes. Many a time. So yeah, that one is a, is a tricky pieces? one. I can't move pieces, sorry, I'm upset. Maybe, I, I wonder if he's thinking about rook g1 as an alternative to taking the pawn. I guess he's got a bunch of possibilities, but I'm surprised that he's taken most of his time on it. Yeah, Inyo, you have 20 seconds, knight g1. Same idea, but he doesn't want to allow knight d3 check. Yeah. Very deep, knight g1. Peter happily takes knight f3 back. Why is still better? Should we have f6, or should we have 7, h6 drops? Yeah, probably with the rook. Can you go knight d3 check, then king d2, maybe there's no follow-up, no, he goes bishop g5, still unpleasant, takes long castles, queen g4, rook d g1, oof, very Yeah, it looks, it looks, looks difficult, no real counterplay on the queen side. Peter catches up on the clock. Rook f4. Yeah, just takes and queen g4 somewhere. Yeah, the problem is usually with this rook f4, it's a known pattern, but usually you have a bishop on g7 that gets a clean view after bishop f4. Well, here you have a knight that is not helped much by this. Look, looks lost, actually. Queen e4. Rook h6, let's say. Oh, knight f5 is still there. d6, nice move. Cd, knight d5. Yeah. I'm curious if Nino will go queen e6 check. But no. he keeps the queens. Not sure. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more messy uh, now the d pawn is a little bit weak. Yeah, queen d3, queen d2 did not really look like the smoothest. Yeah. Now he has to give the queen. Still better because the black king is so weak, but no longer very clear. Yeah, he's going to try to create some mating net. But you can also lose with white. Uh, oh, yeah. So he's threatening mate. That's not threatening mate. H8 is covered, so Peter can nope, push his yeah. pawn. He takes it. Queen e3, queen d3, is that mate? Ugh. That mm. might have been mate. Queen e3, queen, queen, queen d3, queen d3. Swidler misses another mate in a couple of moves. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was close to mate. Queen e3, king d1, queen d3, and king e1. We take on g3, we check. So it was certainly winning. Looks like he's still winning now. c5 or yeah, queen king, g4 or something. King c1, there was queen c2 mate, right? Yeah, I mean, king e1, e2 is still ah. covered, but queen takes g3 is check. But it's also winning now. So Svidler wins this one. Yeah. Looks like it. Even though 
as we learned from Lawrence Trent congratulating him when he was up to zero in the World Cup final 2015. Peter is not a big fan of being jinxed, therefore I should not announce the result. And he still has to win. It's not, it's not, uh, I mean, I guess it's obviously winning, but it's... Uh, Once again, we see how filthy Nino Antonis Okay, now if we need one, resources. But he's going to take on a4 somewhere. But uh, yeah, then knight c1 and take the rook. So this should be over. Knight somewhere first, so you don't even get the knight, and now you can resign if you want. Yeah. All right. Well, a game that uh, I guess that makes up for the loss in the other game, I would say. Yeah, you missed another mate in a couple, but came through anyway. Yeah, Peter taking a breath there. Nino Anton always looks cool as a cucumber. Also yeah. green as a cucumber. And so Peter back in business. We have a Sicilian on the board. <clears throat> Topical line these days, the Rosso Limo. Once again, Anton plays a bit of a sideline, d6, followed by bishop, g4. Yeah, usually they play bishop, d7 first. Yeah, I don't know this stuff well. I guess the choices between, yeah, what Peter does and some c3, d4, more classical plans. But this idea I've seen as well. Yeah. If d, e, there's a g4, and if e6, then you just go for a better structure. It looks like Peter is allowed to play some lines he knows here as well. Queen f3, maybe. Maybe it doesn't do much, maybe just queen f3, knight f6. So, not sure. Rook e1 he goes for. Hmm. Sort of a complex, complex position. Yeah, both sides have weaknesses. I'd prefer white, I guess, because the black weaknesses look more permanent. Then again, the white king would also rather have that pawn on g2 than on g4. Still, you take white. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. He's got a better, a better long-term uh, bishop. He might be wanting to play queen e4 uh, soon. Aston is saying, if I had to bet on a player, I'd bet on Anton, just so I wouldn't mind losing my money. Fanboys be fanboys, right? You're an Anton fanboy, Aston? Or did I misread that sentence? And you're a Swidler fanboy, therefore you'd be happy if you lost your money by betting on Anton. Yeah, I, I couldn't understand if that's a if that's a hedge or a, you know, the hedge kind of bet. Rook at h7, bit of an odd move. Preparing to double at some point. Yeah, he wants, I guess, long castles and then rook dh8 before all hell breaks loose on the queen side. But having announced that, maybe white can play b4. Try to open that position, anticipating the arrival of the black king. Nope, king g2. Yeah, I guess he prepares rook h1, and maybe if if black plays castles, then he'll play b4, maybe? Imminent loss for you is saying, school is easy. I'm way smarter than most kids my age. I'm watching this during online school. That must be nice for you, imminent loss. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a situation where a lot of people don't have to hide the chessboard. You know, normally when you were at work, you have to put the chessboard in the corner as you do some work. But now you can just do it with no fear. That's right. Even though imminent loss for you does not seem very afraid. Either way, because of the smarts. And Aston is saying, nah, Swiddler all the way. 
bet on Anton, Anton loses, I lose money, Svidler wins, everyone is happy. Except Anton, no? Anton loses and he doesn't get your money, so he's unhappy. That's true. It's, it's very hard to find path, a path where everyone is happy. Maybe knight a5 here? For sure. What are you even thinking about? He takes... Oh my Sicko. goodness. Is there some b5 trick? No, I was B5, wondering about CB. that. It's like a, yeah. B5 is like a high level, a high level move. <laughs> Someone says computer said knight a5 was plus two. Yeah. Get together, Peter. Yeah. Still looks decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still take white, but now it's stakes are higher because white is no longer much better on positional grounds. Now you have to checkmate him. But Peter also, he's a very dynamic player at heart. Probably doesn't mind. CBA five, uh, e four. This point queen e four f five. Watch one. Must be, but f five queen somewhere. Maybe even queen c four. I don't know. Nobody knows. Hmm. Where to put the queen? I mean, every square is possible, I guess. It's just a... VB Cardinal saying, Have you guys discussed how you see the Ali Magnus match? VB Cardinal is the same guy that reminds us to stick to the action on the chessboard whenever we deviate. So we will hmm. try to address that in the break, VB Cardinal. But for now, there's just no time. F5 played... And I don't know where to go. Tree F looks wrong on general grounds. Queen F3 played. I guess TPT wants FG. When after Queen G4, he could exchange everything and take on B4. But FG, HG, um, I guess he also just wants to take everything and then take on B4. Just to simplify a bit in order not to get checkmated. I don't know. Yeah. And again, David Anton, without too much time on the clock. So he does it. Yeah, he trades. Down and then to he's 20 gonna... seconds, then start playing. Now he takes on b4, no a5. Looks okay for black still. Or again. Yeah, better than it was for sure. Equal material, and now I don't know who's really better and why. I guess it's just maybe equal. Otto Lundberg is saying Do you think Peter is the most artsy top player? Plays beautifully, in my opinion. Artsy. Hard to say. He's he plays beautiful chess, but so do others too. So I don't know. It's you know, <clears throat> Monet, Mane, they're all beautiful. What's this end game? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like White is probably fighting for something, but yeah. I, I I'm like actually, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Theorists is asking, what's the rationale for Magnus playing Firuja so much recently? Well, here they're just in the final, which they both qualified for in the Bantablitz Cup, no? Other than that, uh, no. I guess they're just up there when it comes to best blitz and best bullet players. And of course, you want to play the best competition. As for this position, white cannot win, but can he lose? King g4, king g7, king f3. Looks like it's king. Draw. King, king is in time, yeah. This is a close match. It might go down, down to the wire. Yep. David as long still has his composure. Yeah, he's hard to tilt. He's too, too laid back. Peter can be tilted, but not as long as he's in the lead. It's hard. It's hard to tell David Anton from his green screen today. A lot of green. Let me try to do something about it. 
Boom! One of us now. <laughs> I chroma keyed him. That's great. You're a pro. I wish. Now we have uh, another Sicilian sideline. He puts his knight on h3, which is actually a fairly common plan. Impressive. But now his shirt is blue also. <laughs> no one told him that you're not supposed to wear green <laughs> in front of a green screen. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the, uh, it makes it difficult for the, um, for the computer to, to, to know the difference. White went d4, which is also a typical thing in these close Sicilians. If black goes e6 and d6 and g6, you often go for the delayed d4 to pronounce that weakness of the d6 pawn. And actually looks very nice for white to me. It does. These are, it's sort of a sneaky, dangerous, these positions, uh, I feel. But Peter calmly plays queen c7. He ain't worried about nothing. No. So many options. Bishop h6, just bishop d4, yeah? Not even sure about that. But d5. d5, yeah. I don't know. Don't like it somehow. ed looks like a decent Benoni for black now. Yeah. <clears throat> and Benoni, as Sasha Grishuk taught us. Means son of sorrow. It's really? not even a decent Benoni. It's pretty sad. I, did, I didn't know that. That is very important knowledge. Very instructive. Peter takes on d5 with the bishop. Yeah, because the bishop does not contribute to the fight for the dark squares in the center. So often mm. in these Benoni type situations, you would rather have a knight than a light squared bishop. Rook b8, preparing b4, and before it's too late. And knight g5, probably going for the e4 square. Yeah, yeah it's probably still a bal balanced position. Maybe knight e5 here. To prepare b4. Tiligato is saying, reminds me of today morning when my team, wow, humble brag, Tiligato, discovered the Microsoft Teams virtual background feature. There you hmm. go. Zoom also has this virtual background, but it's not that, it's not that great. Yeah, they say it allows you to pretend to be anywhere, so. Well, we're all at home, why pretend? But we're all at home, so at this point, yeah, it's really mostly about the uh, professional look. So if he plays c4, it gives him the d4 square, not that that's the end of the world. Maybe he'll play bishop h3 or bishop e4 to... Yeah, kick the knight out first. Yeah, black should be okay. As much as I like bishops, but this bishop on e4 is severely restricted by his own pawn on d5. So I would guess it's roughly equal. Rook b1, I don't know. Knight h5, what's that about? If bishop h6, then rook e8, maybe he wants to free the queen to go to a5, so it no longer has to cover d6. Nah, Peter's yeah. fine here. The knight on g7 wasn't too good, so. This question, who's the guy with beard in glasses? Um, hang on, there's a guy with beard and a guy with glasses, and a guy with beard and glasses. So guy with beard, no glasses, is Peter Swidler. The, guy with glasses, diagram. no beard, is David Anton. And guy beard and glasses is French-speaking, Canadian-born, America, USA-residing Grandmaster Pascal Charbonneau. Is that correct? 
that's all correct. I mean, you could also, I'm, I'm both Canadian and American at this point, so you could have said American without um, lying. Hmm. Franco-Canadian-American. There you go. I had to pass the citizenship exam, Wasn't you know, which tough. has, it has questions like how many states are there? Um, how many are there? 51? Uh, 50, 50. Yeah. I watched that movie, the 51st state, probably that wasn't a real state. That's the, that's the giveaway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not a real state. Yeah. They tricked me. The three branches of government, you know, things like that. What's it, the it, three? It's, it's just Trump is in charge of everything. No? Uh -huh. I'm not going to get into all the politics, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you could, you could look at it that way, uh -huh. but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that would give you, um, citizenship with that, that answer. No, I'm just kidding. It's, I don't speak English. Executive branch, the legislative branch, and what's the judicative? The, ju the judicial. judicial judicial branch. There yes, you go. Judicial, which is the Supreme Court. We're preparing people for the exam if they, uh, if they take it one day. So I still think Peter is okay. It's a little, it's a little maybe unpleasant, but maybe not. I don't even know. Hmm. Now he's going to play bishop d1 and rook a1. But maybe he's got counterplay quickly. Knight e4, bishop c3, something yeah, like that. Yeah, you have to stop the jumps. F3 probably, yeah. Now, here I'll take white again. Bishop's yeah. consolidated before is on the agenda one day. It's all some classical. Torture at games f4. I guess you go f5 because now yeah, f6 king f3 five. doesn't help. That's why it's better. It's a typical grinder structure. Yeah, this would be a, a Jan position. <clears throat> Ankush23 is saying Jan is amazing with Google. I am pretty good at Googling, but you don't think I knew about the three branches of government? <clears throat> Can't get any credit around here. <clears throat> yeah, that's a. Uh... I was assuming that you did not have time. You, the speed at which you answered was was too it was too quick to involve Google. I did. So study now he's okay. The law in another life. Now he is probably holding, still suffering a little bit. Nah, there's a four counterplay. Yeah, he's just fine. Rook b seven, rook g seven, for example. Doesn't care. Now bishop d oh bishop d4 he actually loses the f pawn. Ah huh. rook e3 fancy. Ah. Going for a fancier way to exchange the rooks. Very deep. Draw. All right. Draw. Good hold from Peter. A little bit of suffering. Oof. But they've had a. Every game has been pretty hard fought. No, uh, no easy, uh, no easy wins. Yeah. Not a lot of blunders. They're playing tens of new moves. Um, in front of thousands of viewers. Now nah, that's a stretch. Hundreds of viewers. Millions. For thousands of dollars. Stakes are mediocre. <laughs> uh, this is the so-called accelerated dragon. This is still theory. Knight b3, queen c7, bishop g5, threatening bishop f6, followed by knight yeah. d5. But TPT does not care. It allows bishop f6 by going a6, saying bishop f6, you know what? I'll go bishop f6, knight d5, queen e5, or queen d6, what you want. Of course, white is not obliged to take. You can play a move like bishop e2 or queen d2. Yeah, knight b3 is one of the moves. f4, so aggressive.
Defrau is asking, can you give some tips for beginning chess players who only know basics? Hmm. Go premium on chess 24, 40% off premium right now with the code stay at home. Then start with some nice beginners video series like Vichy Anand, former world champion, explaining the basics of opening play, the basics of good chess play. Then watch everything that we do because I drop so much knowledge in all these broadcasts. Not so much about chess, but sometimes there are nuggets. Yeah, and there's, then, a, there's a, a lot of information for all levels in these video series. So for beginners to people as strong or as weak as me, you could say. So humble. Uh, yeah, well, my general advice is the not very satisfying. If you like the game, you know, just absorb whatever information, books, video series, live broadcasts, play, look at your games, and then hope that your subconscious, your limbic system somehow puts it together. It helps a lot if you're like 10 years old. But even if you're not, you can listen to Ben Johnson's podcast, Perpetual Chess. They talk a lot about adult improvers. I think sometimes they even find some. So I'm being told it can be done. We had this theory when I was in high school that if you slept, you know, with a book under your pillow, you would assimilate some of the information. But I, I'm not sure it was ever verified. No, that's a well-known hoax. Ah. What happens on knight takes e5 here? Mm. I guess. Maybe not he sure. just takes... Fe, maybe he queen just... c4, knight f6, so what do you do? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was wondering. Probably bishop takes f6 there, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Grifedora saying, Quand on met la main à la patte, il en reste hmm. toujours sur le doigt. Hmm. Couldn't agree more. TPT. Mettre la, mettre la main à la patte is uh, literally to put your hand on the dough. In other words, getting your hands dirty, I guess would be the. Uh... And so TPT goes knight takes e5. Going for it. And Fe Queen E5, not Queen C4. What's that about? It's making it a peace sacrifice. He gets that is three odd. pawns. But Rook B1, I don't think you have enough here, usually. Or you don't he even need Rook B1. Yeah, he doesn't need yeah, he could play his knight. Um Yeah, this looks a little suspicious. Generally, three pawns are about the same value as a piece but if there's still that much material especially queens on the board then usually you want the piece in such situations pawns go up a bit in value if it's an end game and they can you know run up the board try to become a queen or rook but here it just looks nice for white because if you have more pieces you can attack more stuff i guess he's got a threat of b6 yeah, what's that about? He wants some um, bishop c1, or what's his point? Bishop c1, queen takes pawn. What do you do after b6? I don't get it either. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> b6 played, bishop c1 played, queen b4 huh. played. Rook I don't know why he... F4. I don't know why he... Uh, I don't know why he didn't take on a2, which would have attacked the rook. Maybe they both missed it. I also couldn't, couldn't see. Now it looks well, bad now the for knight, it. Bad for the knight, it. Yeah, knight has a square and maybe there's also moves like a3 or the queen looks very precariously. Queen c3, bishop d2. Problems. Yeah, it just resides. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was being polite. <laughs> you and your politeness. <laughs> B8. What did he have? Two pieces? C6, also pretty good. E5. So many options. Where he just keeps it simple. Black has. Just one piece, if I'm counting correctly, and a bunch of pawns for the queen. 
That's imp impressive. I had not counted correctly. Should not be enough. No, one piece is not normally not enough for a queen. Hmm. So, Peter, about uh, no jinx intended, but with a great chance here to move to a plus two score, which means two more victories than losses. And as I learned from well-known score theoretician Grandmaster Niels Grandelius, plus two is much better than plus one, but plus one is superior to 50%. I think that was his take. Yeah. Uh, Queen e8, bishop f8. It's just the queen is really powerful. It's like worth nine points. And therefore, TPT does resign. Making it 5-3 <clears throat> in Svidla's favor. First yeah. to six and a half wins. So the Svidmaster. He is rolling for now. Coming. And Anton with the white pieces has decided it's time to stop messing around. Plays a theoretical main line this time around. Castles 6d3. A line that Peter knows. He's done a video series on chess 24 about it actually. C3 rookie one. This is cunning because 95 c5 is the textbook recipe. But I like d4 here for white, so I have knight b2. I didn't think it was so easy. But they are going for a slower plan. And this is pretty much standard stuff. Black will play bishop e6, rook e8, bishop f8, and one or another. a4 trying to keep him busy on the queen side, but bishop e6 parries that. You don't want to go to b7 because the bishop is blocked there. And d4, usually white, doesn't achieve very much after just a bunch of exchanges. Knight d4, knight d4, ed, queen d4, rook c8, knight e3, knight d7, or d5. It's, you know, chess theory. It's exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. Swiddler starts with knight d7, which is also fine. It's a way to keep a little more play in the position, but it's not an attempt to equalize directly. Still, very doable. So, knight e3 played, yeah. And this knight d7 is a little slower. I guess you still go rook c8. But the problem is in the structure, black is kind of worse statically so you want to do something direct and knight d7 makes it a little tougher so it goes queen b6 yeah a bit worse if anton were to take and then take on b5 but probably a bit less confident he can hold that not sure if white can keep the queens on the board with queen d1 or something like that probably could but he doesn't knight d5 what's that bishop d5 ed bishop f6 that's a lack of chess yeah, culture that's... Yeah, that looks completely okay for... Um, yeah, it was just wrong, black. Nino. Your words were harsh, but probably correct. That's... That's what I'm going for. That's great that's word to make for us. Otto Lundberg is saying, come on, Peter, finish him. This is actually, this is an unpleasant position for White to play now. The pawn on b2 is weak and the pawn on d5 is weak. Yeah, knight d5 was really bad. I already disliked queen takes b6. I thought he should go queen d1. But uh, knight d5 was just wrong. <clears throat> yeah, now he's from... From having a position where black should suffer, now it's a really a position where white is suffering. Yeah. Maybe you can hold, but you'll probably defend some endgame upon down. Sure yeah, now play I think that's just knight d. Uh, knight d5, this bishop e4, rook yeah. e8, bishop d6. Yeah, rook e8 should be two. I missed, 
I missed bishop h7 actually, so uh, that's the uh, problem there. Knight d5, bishop b4, rook e8, there's bishop h7. It's annoying. Um, Peter taking his time. Girls just go bishop b2, but yeah, I guess white. White still holds. So many options. Rook d8 also legal. Now then bishop d6 works anyway because yeah. rook d6 is rook e8. Yeah, so he takes on b2. Bishop d6. Now. Knight d5. Bishop e4. What do you want? Rook d8. But then it's also draw shit. Yeah. There you can play bishop d5 and rook. Uh, I guess you won't be able to take. There's a maid in the back. Yeah. Gotta be. Both sides have some back rank issues. Yeah, yep. rook d8. Played. Yeah, I guess you take on d5 and go bishop b3 or bishop f3 and try to draw this, but it's not that much fun with oh, yeah. limited time. Um, but if you keep the bishop, I don't know, bishop c5, then I think black has better winning chances. So yeah, Nino does take on d5. No. Not sure. He goes rook e8 and bishop e4. No. Bishop okay. e3. Yeah, still suffering. Actually suffering quite badly. No, bishop d4 is there as well. Might, might yeah, be really uh, maybe king f1 so he can play rook e2. But I don't know. <clears throat> There's discussion if Nino Anton tries to look like Caruana on purpose. I thought he looks like Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Iron Man after Robert Downey Jr. lost a lot of weight, like maybe in the last installment of the franchise. But somehow people don't seem to agree with me on that. I don't see it with Fabi and him. Well, yeah, I think it's the, the sort of the curly short hair maybe is what people are seeing, but I agree it's not... Um, not that striking a resemblance to me either. How did that game end? A draw. They just agreed Why so to quickly? a draw. I guess he decided that the opposite colored bishops he had no chances. Hmm. But I know a lot of us would have tried just for fun. Let's go with a comma for a change. So now a win from Peter would win the match. Have you ever seen this move d5? I actually think it's a move I've never seen. <laughs> mouse slip. He wanted to play d6. That's clearly a mouse slip. Because now you think so? Kind of lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks it looks kind of nonsensical. I agree. I just, for some reason, I didn't think it was a mouse slip. Nah. He, does, he doesn't show too much emotion on the screen. He's cold as ice. I don't know if it's lost. I mean, it doesn't look that horrible. Pretty bad, I would say. <laughs> Show e2, like knight d4. Yeah, it's, it is. Also, instead of knight c3, I'm not sure why not castles first. It looks even Yeah, no, I agree. I, yeah, I agree that castles was probably a better. And then maybe try to play d4 really fast. Yeah. Horrible. But even this should be very bad, like bishop e2. But at least it's making Peter think. Peter wants to go king f1 because he feels like being the dynamic player he is, he should play the creative king f1. But he's also up five and a half, three and a half. So I do think that his better judgment will prevail and he's going to go bishop e2. There we go. I yeah. know my Paul Borta. What is Paul Borta, by the way? I have no idea. He's explained it a million times on stream, but I usually don't listen. So it's that simple? No, I'm sure it's something to do with billiard or something. I'm sure someone in the chat knows. So this is the longest they've thought for the first five, six moves um, that we've seen. Thanks to this probably mouse slip d5. Yeah, Nino wants to go knight d4 now, so he's trying to calculate. Knight takes d4, cd, knight b5, Yeah. then some queen to d7. He's wondering if he can get away with that. Maybe he can. 
there's moves there that are could be annoying, like c3, then on e5, queen a4, this type of nonsense. Yeah. Sometimes it's difficult to deal with. Knight d4 plate, and Peter had anticipated that castles really quickly. No, stakes are higher though, because now black is the bishop, so long term, if he manages, and that's a big if to finish development, he'll be just fine. But it won't be easy. I would be attracted to move c4 here, but I'm afraid it's too slow. I don't know what you do. g6 takes bishop g7. Yeah, maybe queen. Queen c6 also seems a little slow, but... Yeah, queen c6, not sure. Yeah, there's knight c4 or knight e5 first. Looks yeah, knight e5, good. yeah. Yeah, it still is... Uh, white is very, very well developed. Hmm. A4, idea knight b5. Why is Tazino saying, Jan, how come Firuja and Nakamura get the invite for the big tournament and Duda gets the smaller tournament? First of all, I don't know. And secondly, I think whoever you had invited to the big tournament, someone would have complained that their favorite is not in it. Like me personally, I have complained that my favorite Grishuk is not in it. So you can never satisfy anybody. And I, of course, agree that Duda is a very worthy player as well. But yeah, it's the usual can't satisfy them all. <clears throat> Nino, hanging in there. Yeah, he's one move away from finally castling, but now castles, maybe there's something like knight f5. Bishop c8, keeping the bishop. I like it. He needs to win. He needs to create some imbalances. Yeah. Doesn't look that bad for black, really. No, queen's a little silly on a6, but if it can break free, it'll be fine. I don't know. I guess you just play b3. Keep an eye on a4. But not Peter. He goes... Direct. Oh, I think we have a winner. You want to see her? Uh, well, she can come in. So uh, I win. I win. I win the. Uh, I win the bet, or someone wins the bet of whose child would come in the picture first. Congratulations. This is this is Mila. Hi, she Mila. She's going back. She's not so happy about it. She's saying no, 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 no. Oh, oh. She likes being on camera. Oh, she's very upset. But meanwhile, El Nino only has 20 seconds. He was probably he was probably tricked by Mila being here. That sounds likely. Um... Is there some queen way to win here? Queen g3, king uh, rook d4, there's queen a1, yeah? Because queen b5, rook g4 seems to win, but there's queen a1. Queen g3, king h8, I don't see anything too devastating. Knight d6, yeah. Switzerland just goes knight d4. Yeah. e5 makes sense. And, well, it's close. close. You could just go for the perpetual. Yeah. with the match situation but let's see if he finds something else queen g5 check of course makes a draw here and i don't see anything else with the weak back rank to be frank but he might consider h3 or move like that no nope. yeah, draw no draw so he is he's within a draw of victory six four Smart decision, I think, at that point, to not not go for too much. That's that veteran experience. Uh, 
I think Peter Peter didn't go through your video that recommends knight f6 instead of bishop c5. Mm, no, but that one I don't feel so strongly about. I've done and recommended either. It's more of a you often get the same position and which sidelines do you want to avoid kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. So h3, bishop a7 or h6 are common moves here. And Peter also with the match situation, he's not going to go bishop e6, he's going to go for some combination of h6, rook e8, bishop a7. Yeah, no, he goes knight a5, which um, makes sense trying to use the fact that white has not played a4 or bishop b3, but clearly not a surprise to Mr. Nino Anton, who came out for this. Hmm. Knight e3 here? I guess knight e3... Um, yeah, look very logical. I was gonna say I guess you take, but then f e3, 5, knight g5, so I don't know. Plays d4 instead. And huh. The usual question is, can we go g5 or is knight takes yeah. g5 too strong? <laughs> Queen e6, safer move. Yeah, that's interesting. He wants he's threatening two things. The pawn on e4 and the knight on c4. Yeah, well d5 keeps everything, but then at least the position yeah. stays closed. But uh, I would go d5. Queen e7. E5, some of, e5 yeah. is bishop his bishop is quite good on a7. Maybe next we can play king h8 and g5. Yeah, if there's nothing direct here for white, then black should be fine. And I don't see anything direct. So maybe queen e6 was just a nice move. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't see doesn't it. Seem, yeah, it doesn't seem great for white to me. Mm -hmm. Also, Nino taking a long, long think here. Yeah, so now he's going to play rook g8 and try to play g5 and then knight h5. I mean, it just looks, it actually looks better for black to me, but maybe I'm... No, it's uh, at least white needs to do something if... <clears throat> Black gets all the moves he wants, he's, he can easily be winning. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, this d4 was not the move, you were right. This knight e3 looked more to the point. <clears throat> yeah, queen e6, queen e6, I guess, was a hard move to, um, hard move to 4c, but a, well played by, uh, by Peter. Yeah, now this just looks like a disaster, really. Knight h5 and then g4. Or maybe maybe g4 first and rook takes g4. Because that will create a threat also of knight takes, well, actually not knight takes d5. <laughs> There's a check on pawn takes, but some, somewhere. Yeah, this is not great. G4 but just bishop d5, direct. rook g8, yeah. Yeah, would you have played something else? Maybe bishop d7 yeah, first? Yeah, like knight h5 or bishop d7 maybe are more in my style, but I like g4. I think it's a good move. And the white king is just pretty weak. Queen g5. <clears throat> yeah, Svidla's got this. Hmm. Takes, takes, what do you do now? Queen h4. Yeah, I guess he's going to play f3 and try to hold it that way. Yep. 
He can always play bishop d7, which kind of threatens bishop b5 to try to win a tempo. I don't know how much of a threat it is, but... Queen h4, f4. Whoa, aggressive. Nino's hmm. spirit is not broken. He saw that coming. Still bishop d7, I guess bishop g4. Yeah, I guess it was a little bit less clear than it was maybe a few moves ago. Knight a5. He's fearless. Yeah. Very brazen decision, knight a5. Willing to put the knight on b7 for just a pawn? Nah. Queen d2. No, bishop h3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bishop h3, yes. Strong. And game over, I think. Gh, queen e4, and you can't really cover g2 and e4. Yeah. No, it's game. The bishop on a7 is still. Uh, yep, and Anton yeah. resigns. And that means Peter Swidler wins Peter the match. Swidler. Peter Swidler wins Dva Matcha in a row. Congratulations, Peter. Yeah, the victory of experience. He's making the kids uh, look bad. Yeah, it was a close match. Some moments like this knight d5 stuck with me also. I think this d4, d5 in this game. So, what are your thoughts on the match? Well, I, I got very tilted. Yeah, I, 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 if you got it in time, but I, had I agree. Queen e6 was a really nice move. Um, I'm actually going to... Try to remember this idea. Get something out of the uh, get something out of the match. Can you guys hear Peter talking? I, I cannot. But maybe maybe they can on the stream. Yeah, people can hear him, so we'll shut up. I think in general I didn't play all that poorly today. I think I played I played fine, and I think uh, Nino probably had a bad day because uh, he was 200 points ahead of me before we started, and I think that's probably more more like it should be. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think he had a pretty bad day, uh, so that's kind of good for me, obviously. Yeah, in general I don't think I played that good match, but. Uh... I don't know, I think you played uh, just better, yeah. I think it was very interesting because uh, there were uh, a lot of crazy positions, a lot of dynamic play, so uh, yeah. the audience really enjoyed it, I guess. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I think the, the match was quite different to the previous match uh, yeah. that it played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is, uh, I think, better. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's slightly better this way. Did you see the mate in two in the queen? And yeah, he, he was explaining us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw it just in time to, to get very upset. Okay, so, Nino, in the, in the queen end game, where, where you were pushing with your king, there yeah. was at some point queen f1 with your king on e2, I guess. And then. Yeah, king e3, three, queen f3 mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the queen. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that was slightly <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that, that was very good. Uh, yeah, I think that was, I had a very good position to win. Yeah, I, 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 I sh I'm supposed to lose this one, that's that's for sure, I'm really supposed to lose this one. Yeah, and after I lost that one, uh, yeah, then I actually upgraded the rest of the game. That's probably fair. Alright, so thanks uh, both for, for playing and congratulations Peter and we'll see you in the final. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have a nice day, Peter. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, pues Peter a la final. Niño bien luchaba así. Grande niño. Buena lucha. Nos despedimos porque acaban el compromiso y volvemos en media hora con duda y arde bien. Venga, luego gente. Ahora nos vemos. Chao, chao. Okay. Thanks, Peter. Chao.
would write that. Uh, you would write that. Uh, okay. All right, I think that was, yeah, I'm not sure how well you could hear Peter on the Zoom call with our Spanish friends there. And congratulations to him. Thank you so much, Pascal, for joining this little match action. What's happening on the US-Canadian side of Chess24 these days? Well, so we're, we're adding a lot of US content. We've had some American guys join us, for example, uh, U.S. champion uh, or former U.S. champion Sam Shanklin, who also came out with a, a chessable video. He's uh, he's going to be doing more content. Uh, we're bringing in more people. We're also doing a lot of faster content, things like after shows, uh, which you know there'll be more of in the slower tournaments. But I think we'll do an after show also during the the Magnus Carlsen Invitational, and uh, and yeah. So we, we you know we've got uh, we've got plenty going on. And uh, it's going to keep uh, it's going to keep growing, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, provide good entertainment to people on this side of the Atlantic as well. On top of what you already do, of course. Yeah, but <laughs> language barrier. So very, very grateful that you are. <laughs> also, time zone barrier. That's even more significant than language barrier. That there is some U.S. content out there. So thanks a lot, Pascal. I of course, think... always a pleasure, Jan. I think I'll be back in like half an hour with the next batch. Um, we'll check it out. See you guys soon. Stay safe. Wash your hands. See you soon, guys. <laughs>